Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, February 3rd, and here are the week's top stories. A state agency mailed out the first wave of $450 energy relief checks to Maine residents on Monday. In early January, lawmakers approved an emergency funding bill that includes nearly $400 million for direct payments to taxpayers. The checks will be sent to residents who filed an income tax return for the 2021 tax year and who earned less than $100,000 as an individual or less than $200,000 for couples filing together. While the program was designed to help Mainers pay for heating and electricity costs, There are no restrictions on how the money can be used. A new bill in the Maine legislature would expand eligibility for state-supported health care to all Maine residents, regardless of immigration status. The bill was introduced by House Speaker Rachel Talbot Ross, a Democrat from Portland. The bill will first be considered by a legislative committee. Last year, the legislature extended Maine care to immigrant residents who were 21 years or younger or who were pregnant. According to the state, nearly 100,000 Maine residents are currently enrolled in Maine care. And three Maine organizations are joining forces to fight against exploitative labor, labor practices in the state. Pine Tree Legal Assistance, Preble Street, and the Immigrant Legal Advocacy Project will use a $2.5 million grant to expand support services and legal representation to victims of labor trafficking in Maine. The groups that The groups say that civil litigation against people who commit labor abuses can help secure unpaid wages for victims. In the last decade, Preble Street has helped more than 600 victims of labor trafficking. If you or someone you know is experiencing exploitation or labor trafficking, you can reach out to Preble Street at 207-775-0026. And a new play currently showing at the Portland stage explores Cuban-American identity through themes of food and family. The play tells the story of Bea, a Cuban-American baker who moves to rural Maine to open a bakery and struggles with her decision to leave her family in Miami. The play is called Sweet Goats and Blueberry Senoritas and was co-written by Richard Blanco, a Cuban-American poet who lives in western Maine. Blanco says the play is also about how immigration is changing Maine and what it takes for people from different backgrounds to learn to live together. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Maine Public News Connect partners with wonderful groups across Maine committed to providing access to important news and information for all. We'd especially like to recognize the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition, Presente Maine, the Congolese and Angolan communities of Maine, Amjambo Africa, Catholic Charities of Maine, the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center, Portland Adult Education, the Portland Office of Economic Opportunity, Prosperity Maine, the Maine Health Access Foundation, and the Maine Humanities Council for their support and efforts. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by individual sponsors, businesses, and foundations from across Maine, and especially by Coastal Enterprises, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, IDEX, Ku and Patricia Ewan, Maine Health Access Foundation, Maine State Housing Authority, and the Sam L. Cohen Foundation. Thank you for your significant support. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a deal. Punto. Seaport Credit Union, together. At Maine Housing, we know an affordable home is key. Our first home loan program offers Mainers low interest rates and down payment assistance on multi-unit properties. Learn more at mainhousing.org. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. If you would like to support this project, please contact Corey Morrissey at 207-232-0241.